Once you've got your Ruin Armor and your quest list is nice and green on Free to Play, you've practically completed Free to Play RuneScape. And there isn't much else to do except go through the painstaking grind of leveling up your skills in Free to Play or making GP to get a bond in Free to Play, both of which are a bit dull. But there's one thing people actually tend to forget about that you can do in Free to Play, and that's fight these two bosses. Oh, Bor the Hill Giant Boss and Bryophita the Moss Giant Boss. Are people right to forget about them, or are they actually worth slaying? Let's equip the appropriate outfit and find out. We're going to start off with Obor and the Hill Giants. But Obor, he seems to be locked in his little cave room. Yes, he's locked in. It locks from the outside, and you get keys from the regular giants outside his little cage area. Is he a prisoner? Has he been a bad boy and sent to his room? Maybe he's different from the rest of the giants. Maybe he's nice. Regardless, we're going to kill him and find out if he's worth it. So, to access Obor, you need to receive the giant key drop from regular hill giants, and that's a 1 in 128 drop chance. They aren't that common, so Obor isn't a boss you can just decide you want to do, then grind him out hour after hour to get the drops. You have to kill his less lucrative counterparts for a fair while before accessing him. So I hopped onto our boy, Fragile Nook, and bought some epic free-to-play gear trimmed of course, and timed myself killing hill giants and gathering keys to get a rough estimate on how long it would take an average free to player to get hill giant keys. So we were able to hit the average of 128 hill giants killed in order to get a hill giant key in about 68 minutes. And Fragile Nook with his ruin armor is a very average free to player. So that's quite an accurate estimation of how long it would take regular free to players with ruin armor to get these keys. Fortunately for us, we did actually end up getting a hill giant key and we also collected and banked loot worth 44.5 kgp. I timed how long it takes to bank then fight Obor, it's around 4 minutes, and the average Obor kill is worth 21.5 thousand GP. So on average, a higher level free to player with rune armor and 50s in combat stats can take 72 minutes to get a hill giant key, fight Obor, and make roughly 66 K GP. That boils down to 915 GP each minute, and then adds up to about 55 K GP per hour which is an okay money making rate as a free to player. But you can only fight Obor when you're higher level in free to play, when you've got Ruin Army, you've got plus 50 combat stats, and also I definitely recommend having protect from melee, at least protect from range to protect against some of Obor's attacks. We've got one more hit, and he's dead, we've done it. We've done it. Ruin Battle Axe, 24k, not bad. Task complete, Over no Obor Novice, <laughs> yeah. Hill Giant Keys have double the chance of dropping in the wilderness compared to the rest of the world. If you want to grind out Giant Keys to try and get Obor's best drops as fast as possible, gathering the keys in the wilderness is the way to go. The drop rate goes from 1 in 128 chance to 1 in 64 chance. We took our boy Fragile Nook out into the wilderness and it took roughly 33 minutes to get 64 Hill Giant kills, which is the average amount you would have to kill to get a Hill Giant key. And we're not looking to make money out here. We're purely looking for the keys and nothing else. We don't want to be running back and forth or teleporting back and forth. It would take a long time and make this way too inefficient. Instead, I brought some high healing food into the wilderness and only collected items that stacked like ruins and filled the empty spaces in my inventory after I've been eating food with Limport Roots. In this instance, collecting the Hill Giant Key took us 44 minutes, but on average it would take roughly 33 minutes. Plus 4 minutes of teleporting to Varrock Banking then slaying Obor, we're looking at an Obor kill every 37 minutes or so. And with the average Obor kill being worth 21.5k, we collected about 10k of loot while slaying the giants in the wilderness, that's 31.5k every 37 minutes. Which is 840 gold per minute, or 51k GP per hour. Overall, is slaying Obor worth it in free to play old school runescape? Well, if you're a free to player training on hill giants in Edgeville dungeons, gather up all the keys while you're training on them. Eventually, when you have the stats and gear to fight Obor without him absolutely destroying you, you can then do it, there's no reason not to. It's a little bit of fun, you might get some good loot. But the only reason for slaying Obor to be a goal that you want to achieve is if you're a bit of a completionist and you want to fight Obor once before you move out of free to play or because you want to fill out that hill giant club slot on your collection log. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting your time. Perhaps a better use of our fragile nook's time would be spent on slaying the dirtier giant counterparts, the moss giants. Walking through this sewer is an incredibly nostalgic experience. This was the place to train back when I was a little kid playing RuneScape, killing the giant rats, ranging or maging the zombies across the sewage river. Then you make it to the end only to forget your slash weapon to cut the web so you have to walk all the way back to the bank so 
lowly. When I arrived to kill the moss giants for this video, on a free-to-play world, they were absolutely deserted, something I haven't actually seen before in a free-to-play world. There was always usually at least one person in each little moss giant area, and back in the real 2007, there was millions of people down here slaying moss giants. And I figured it would be more popular today than it was before, because there's now more incentive to kill moss giants thanks to Bryophyta. I spent just over two hours in this sewer to get a 150 kill count on the moss giants. That's the average amount of kills it takes to get a mossy key from these guys down here. And we did get the key within the kill count, fortunately, and we managed to pick up about 25k worth of loot for the bank. That's a low amount of loot for a two hour session, but it's because I didn't pick everything up. I buried the bones that the moss giants dropped and I only picked up worthwhile items if I had the space for them in my inventory. You don't kill moss giants to make gold. The travel to and from the bank plus the subpar drop table doesn't really make it worthwhile until you get the key. Bryophyta the Moss Giantess has a 1 in 118 chance to drop her essence. Bryophyta's essence is a very lucrative drop that free to players can get and at the time of this recording you can sell it on the Grand Exchange for roughly 6.5 million GP. This could be the ticket to a free to player's first bond and escaping free to play. After fighting Obor and getting blasted without protection prayers, I decided to get 37 prayer, slaying hill giants and burying their bones. With the protect from magic prayer, fighting Bryophyta should be a lot less painful. Now it's time to fight the big mossy lady. Despite Bryophyta being 20 levels higher than Obor, fighting the moss giantess is a lot less painful. It's a lot easier actually. I'm not getting thrown around against the wall constantly. Instead, these little saplings pop up, then you have to damage them then use the axe to kill them. And after eating only three bits of food, the fight was done. I got a cheeky little ruined skirt from my troubles, which I should have already been wearing because plate skirts are greater than plate legs. Bryophyta will always drop a beginner clue scroll if you don't already have one in your bank. Doing clue scrolls can be a fun way to split up the OSRS grind, and if you're lucky, you can make some GP too. Beginner clues, however, don't have fantastic rewards, so I don't bother with them personally. It took us roughly 2 hours and 10 minutes in total to get the 150 kills for the key, then to actually defeat Bryophyta. With Bryophyta's average drop being worth roughly 77,000 gold, and we made over 25k from the drops we occasionally picked up from the moss giants while getting the key, that's 102,000 GP in 2 hours and 10 minutes, which ends up being roughly 45k GP per hour. That also takes into account the cost of supplies. That is no better result than the hill giants. In fact, it's a little bit lower. And the average Bryophyta kill does take into account the 6 million GP essence drop. So sadly, slaying the moss giants in this sewer isn't actually worth it. But there's hope for these big dirty buggers yet. Just like the hill giants, the moss giants drop their keys more frequently in the wilderness. And surprisingly, the moss giant keys drop rate is actually better than the hill giant's key drop rate. Going from a 1 in 150 drop rate to a 1 in 60 drop rate is a huge difference, so we had to try it. The best way to get to the moss giants in the wilderness is using the canoe, but sadly, we didn't have the woodcutting level to use the canoe. To get the 57 woodcutting requirement, I decided to do something that no free-to-player has ever done, and that's use this resource area that you unlock after completing Dragon Slayer on Corsair Cove. We're going to chop maple trees. <laughs> Hey, there we go, 57 woodcut, let's get out of here. It took us 36 minutes to get 60 moss giant kills, which is the average to get the key in the wilderness. Luckily, we ended up actually getting the key earlier on, and those 60 kills were done in a single trip. We used a mixture of dragon hide and ruin armor. The green dragon hide armor was to protect against any peak ears who would try and use magic spells on me, and it reduced the amount of money I'd lose if I did die because ruin armor is more expensive. It then took six minutes for us to get to the bank, sort out our inventory, and then defeat Bryophyta once again with the key that we gained. With Bryophyta's average loot being 77k GP, and we can slay her every 40 minutes or so, the average GP per hour doing this is a whopping 110k GP. Per hour. For 90% of RuneScape players, that doesn't seem like much, but for free to play, that's actually pretty good. In fact, it's the best combat oriented money making method in free to play that there is. So, if you're a free to player wondering if it's worth doing free to play bossing, Obor, not really. Slay Hill Giants because slaying Hill Giants is a decent way to train as a free to player and make a little bit of GP, collect the keys, then slay Obor once you've got the stats. Don't make Obor an actual goal you want to try and achieve by slaying him or getting the club unless 
you're a completionist. Now for Moss Giants and Bryophyta, if you're a higher level free to player and you find yourself training your stats on Moss Giants, which isn't a bad idea, you can collect the keys that you get. The Moss Giants are a decent way to train once you're 50 plus combat stats, and if you bring a Fire Staff and you have 55 magic, you can cast High Alchemy on some of the drops like the Black Square Shield and the Mithril Sword. Then you can bury the bones, that'll make trips last a long time, you'll get good XP, you'll get some prayer XP by burying the bones, it's a good way to train, and you can collect any keys that you get. Then slaying Bryophyta with those keys is just a small added bonus to your training method. If you're in free to play and you want to do some combat oriented money making, then slaying Bryophyta using the Wilderness Moss Giants is actually worth it. It's the best combat money making in free to play, and if you do get the essence, it's basically a ticket to a bond and then a ticket to membership. But if your goal is just to make money as easy as possible in free to play, craft jewelry. It's still better. <laughs> I recently made a short series of walking through free to play old school RuneScape with a brand new account. Check it out.